everyone, welcome to this updates video. I really hope you're doing great this morning. And we'll be looking at what is going on in terms of weather conditions across the Atlantic, with focus being on the Caribbean and the US as well, because there's quite a bit going on there. And I do apologize if I sound a little bit off. I'm a bit congested this morning, but let's get straight into what is happening. And so here we can see on the infrared satellite that there is quite a bit going on in parts of the U.S. And even offshore, we can see some thunderstorm activity associated with an airflow pressure further to the north. So in the U.S., there is a threat of strong to severe thunderstorms, and uh, that may bring impacts to parts of the uh, southeast Great Plains through the Gulf Coast states today and through tonight. And uh, the Storm Prediction Center goes on to say that some may be accompanied by potential for tornadoes in addition to severe hail and wind, particularly across parts of southern and central Mississippi and Alabama late this afternoon into tonight. So uh, those areas are at risk of experiencing those uh, dangerous weather conditions. And so please stay safe, guys, if you're being affected. Going to the Caribbean, uh, it is a big contrast. We're not seeing much really happening. A few clouds moving through here and there and in parts of the Lesser Antilles. A few showers moving by. So areas such as Martinique and even St. Lucia as well experiencing some shower activity this morning, but not for everyone. Now, as it relates to the rainfall forecast through the rest of today, we can see that there are a lot of whites around. So most areas, especially in Central America, Cuba, most of the Bahamian islands are likely to be on the dry side today. But overall for the Caribbean, some showers may move by. So for the greater and lesser Antilles, uh, there could be a passing shower or so, a brief downpour, nothing crazy, but things are a lot more active in South America, especially Colombia and parts of Southern Venezuela, and even for the Cayannas as well. There may be some uh, shower and thunderstorm activity within some areas, but it's unlikely that that will be very, very widespread. Winds. So it's a pretty windy day in parts of the Southern and Northwest Caribbean. So as we're going to be heading into this afternoon, very early in the afternoon, you can see all these darker purple and blue shading. So some of these winds may be up to 20, 25 uh, miles per hour with gusts over 30 miles per hour uh, just offshore the Yucatan Peninsula and in the vicinity of the Bay Islands as well. Winds may also kick up in southern Jamaica and uh, down toward the ABC Islands as we're seeing, but further up north, it is likely to be a lot more tranquil. And the same story persists through tonight. As we can see here, still seeing those uh, more vibrant shadings for the aforementioned areas. Now, as it relates to the Saharan earlier forecast, so this is uh, the forecast for later this morning, 8 a.m., and we can see these brown shadings indicating the dust. Not a very uh, dense plume of dust, but there is some dust affecting parts of northern South America, even Trinidad, Tobago, and other parts of the Windward Islands. Maybe a little bit dusty uh, as we head into later today, but as I said, it's not a very dense plume of dust. And eventually, as we head into the new week, things should pretty much clear up across the Caribbean. Now, tropical waves. So these are troughs of low pressure, these elongated areas that propagate from Africa westward across the Atlantic. And so we typically tend to see them occurring most during the hurricane season from June to November, but uh, some of the early ones may develop in May. So as we head towards late spring and summer, that's really when we're going to see these tropical waves rolling off the African coast. And 60% of all tropical cyclone activity originates from these tropical waves. And uh, that is how the area, the main development region is designated because that is where we tend to see most systems develop from tropical waves. But uh, usually the early tropical waves don't develop into tropical cyclones, but it's usually as we head into the hard hurricane season where we tend to see wave after wave with the potential to uh, develop into tropical storms and even hurricanes and major hurricanes as well. And if you're not familiar, a major hurricane is a Cat 3 to Cat 5. So once a hurricane reaches that intensity, then it is considered to be a major hurricane. With those tropical waves coming off, uh, that's going to be a source of rain for the Caribbean because even though they may not develop 
as they propagate toward the west and they move by with all that instability, all that thunderstorm activity, then that's going to result in increased rainfall uh, in parts of the Caribbean based on where those axes are located. So I'll be keeping you guys posted as per usual and that is what I wanted to share with you in this update video. So I really hope that you found it to be quite informative, but if you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments. I'll respond when I get the chance to do so, and remember to always be weatherwise.